And one. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Sorry for the delay. Uh, I had to deal with some doggos. So uh, we are back, and we are Hello, going to be everyone. starting right now. Oh, and I hear myself. That was frightening. Uh, <laughs> Sam's like, my bad, my bad. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't you? Oh, it was y'all. All right, all right. Anyways, uh, so I would like to start the show off by saying something. I think it is very, very important that you take care of yourself and you uh, realize uh, that sometimes we all make mistakes and we need to better ourselves for those mistakes. And I am going to uh, talk about that. Last week, I said something. Uh, I said that I was going, the this show wasn't going to go straight to YouTube, that I was going to edit it and blah, 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 blah. I realized I know that I burn myself out and I know that I take on more than I should. And so to better myself and to prevent myself from doing that, I am not going to be doing that. So instead, uh, we are. this is just going to go up on YouTube just like a standard Q Times live stream. It is currently up on our coffee and you do not have to be you don't have to support us right now the premiere of every single show that q times does that is a q times production full-on stop us you will be able to watch the first episode early if you are just following us all you have to do is go on to our coffee we will be linking them the video for the first episode of every series you'll be able to see it before anyone else does um, and then if you decide and you can support us on coffee, you will be seeing the, uh, you'll be seeing the rest of the series is the day before or even earlier, um, on, on that platform. If you can support us, that would be amazing. If you can't, you, it's fine. So right now, if you follow us, you can watch, watch it. If you can't support, or if you, if you don't want to follow us for whatever reason, it will be on YouTube on Saturday. So you can watch that on uh, Saturday. Um, my name is Jake. I'm the GM of the show. I go by he, him, but I'm playing a lot of different characters. So keep up with my fucking pronouns, you piece of shit. Um, <laughs> let's go around the table. Let's see. I started with Sam last week. So let's start with Keith. Uh, hi, I'm Keith. Uh, I go by he, him and my character tonight, Daniel is also he, him. Uh, you can find me usually on uh, Total Party Chill on Sundays playing Dungeons and & Dragons and on Mondays attempting to play almost every other TTRPG, which, fun fact, I think that uh, Lana from TPC and I might be coming out with a short TTRPG soon, so look out for that. Nice. Uh, also, so if you want to see Keith and myself more, Keith and I were actually on a Star Wars actual play on Void Cat's channel, which I believe you can watch all of that on YouTube uh, now. Uh, Star Trek, sorry. What did I say? What did I say? Star Wars. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> same thing, right? No, I'm just kidding. I just want... <laughs> look, look, Sam's not allowed to give me that face because at the end of the Star Wars series that they were doing, they literally would say goodbye like this. So like no don't don't fucking judge me for for, for trolling <laughs> yeah, i for, trolled on purpose yes um so uh if you uh if you want to watch that go to void cat's uh youtube channel you can watch us play star trek it's actually coming back we are in the uh pre-production part of that no set date uh as of yet uh that we can announce because i don't think it has been announced on public and i'm not going to take that away from void uh but i do still want to say hey we've got something in the works um, let's go to Kiwi. Hi, I'm Kiwi and I use they, them pronouns. And tonight I'll be playing Quinn. Quinn also uses they, them pronouns. Um, so as I like to say, refer to me correctly or don't refer to me at all. Um, so where to find me? You can find me here on Thursdays playing Outbreak Undead and on, um, uh, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, playing Vampire the Masquerade, um, also with Janine. And um, we were supposed to premiere last night, but there was some tech difficulties, so we're actually premiering it tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, but then after that, it's going to be on Wednesdays for this three-part uh, campaign. And then, yeah, that's me. Awesome. Uh, we'll go to the uh, other half, Janine. Hello, my name is Janine. My pronouns are she, her, and honestly, I, who am I playing? 
<laughs> Someone please help me remember what Shana. my name is. Shana. My name is Shauna. As we saw last episode, I have no... I actually have a very strong connection to that name. However, I don't know her. Um, anyway, her pronouns are also she, her. And yeah, uh, she is an archery badass on roller skates, much like myself, Janine, the player. Awesome. Uh, last and far from least, Sam DeLev. Happy belated birthday. I hope you had an amazing birthday yesterday. Uh, before Sam can even talk, I want to just talk about how amazing and how much I love Sam. Sam is amazing. Um, uh, one of the main reasons I still continue to stream to this day is because of Sam DeLev. Um, because they keep me strong. <laughs> so, Sam. Yes, now that I've gone mad with power over this channel, you may call me Sam DeLev, though tonight you may also call me Mac or Mackenzie Brooks Miller, the character I am playing. Like so many creatures of horror, I am they. And let's get on with the show. Last week, the group had gathered together to go on a med trip. They needed to go down and get as much medication because there has been an outbreak of a flu uh, within the community. And while a flu is normally just fine, it happens. Sam's like, mm, this situation isn't. There isn't medicine. There isn't easily accessible medicine that, that people need. There is no vaccine or flu shot that people can take on a regular basis because of this outbreak undead. I uh, see. I said the name of the thing. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> Look, you have to have some li uh, like some humor. All right. Some delevity. You know what? Yeah. Just kill us with the zombies. My God. <laughs> so they have been tasked to go out south, which south of where they are is closer to where the original nukes had been dropped, putting them in not only the danger of the undead themselves, but also in the extreme danger that is the radiation poisoning, as well as dealing with all of the uv rays that would instantly burn them so they traveled down and ended up finding another group a group of people that had taken over the warner brothers studios and had built up a campground there they did not look friendly and so they passed by them and in the process got spotted or at least they think they got spotted and so they ran for shelter into a local library where they found a librarian named Liz. And that librarian gave them free access to the, uh, to the building. They shared food. But as the way that they got into the building itself wasn't the quietest, it ended up bringing unneeded attention to them. As we left off at the last end, uh, uh, the end of last episode, the pitter pattering of hands and faces and body slamming against every side of the library, up against glass, up against the doors. It's it was so loud it sounded like hail. The room is silent other than this hail. And Mac, all of this is doing is reminding you of your inevitable future. Doesn't have to be inevitable, you know. 
that's entirely up to you. Exactly. What are all of you doing? Probably maybe looking to move like bookshelves in front of the windows um, and in front of the doors to have like a little bit of extra barricade uh, rip to the books, but rather rip the books than rip my life. So Liz looks to all of you and is like, there's n no way that we can, we can, stay in here like there's no way that you're going to block every single window and every single door but if you're willing to help me there is a roof access it's only delaying the inevitable but at least there's only one entrance and exit that they can get to well as much as it pains me to potentially get rid of all of these books, maybe we just blow this building up. And where would we go? Well, we already offered you a spot in our community, so... No, I, I mean, if we light this building on fire, where would we go? Did you want to open the door and be fed upon by the undead? I, I, I mean... I think there's a plan that needs to surround the idea of us blowing this up, but it might do away with some of the heat. And do you have explosives? Like, do you have a means to, to blow this? Pl like, <sighs> So I would assume in the pack that I brought with me, there would be some means I, I have sent you a complete list of, of items in which you, you have. I don't believe I gave you specifically uh, an explosive. But she she Improvised. still... Uh, what? Improvised? Protein? I mean, you could you can always improvise things. I mean, you, you definitely have ammunition within your group. You know that you could open shells up and there's definitely uh, gunpowder in, in, in ammunition. You know, there's a lot of possibilities. I mean, you're also got a room full of uh, intelligent books that you could easily go through. Um, but she's starting to walk towards a, a back section, which you can see that there is a ladder up there. But you're thinking to yourself, how, why does she need help? And you can see that she has actually built a... Um, a a what how do you call it um pulley? like like a pulley system for the dog oh yeah i'm i'll help her she's just like i we haven't gone up there in a while cuz i just been too weak but if you can help me we can get up there and at least you have weapons we can maybe make some noise on one side and jump off the other or or i mean we just need to escape like if if we have to ruin this building of its knowledge, that's one thing. But at least we need a way to escape. Whoa, that's a great idea. Does the um, does the access fit a wheelchair? Uh, so it's a fire access. So okay. um, it would absolutely it, it fits. Like okay, so I'm a big dude. So fire accesses. Um, um have they're large enough for like me to be up there like this like so cool. they are they are they are definitely large enough Th you would have to clearly use all i need is literally two feet of clearance that is the width of the chair we're working with yeah here. um i because uh, you would you would probably climb up without it right sam or w would you try to yeah i'd probably um either pull it up with me and just ladder slow Sure. Is I think probably the best. Just grab it by the back of the rigidizer bar, mm -hmm. um, or you could send it up in the pulley because it's twenty pounds, um, and Bell needs to go up anyway. So act if and this needs to accommodate um, a snow fluff dog who yeah. is large. Um, that is a thick, thick boy. Um, 
also just the vision of bell sitting in the chair in the basket is the entirety of my justification <laughs> valid uh but yeah yeah so it, it can easily fit a wheelchair it can fit multiple people the the whole point of the fire access is not necessarily just for people but it's also an opening so that smoke is able to escape out of it because you don't want to you don't want to have a closed off facility you want the smoke to escape so um uh, is that are, are you all okay with that plan heading up one at a time um and and going up there yeah, if that's good i go up first i can start to pick off some of the ones that are closer to the door and sure. windows um and and liz says yes um uh, but um clear the ones in the back because there is a, a dumpster that's down there that we can jump into instead of going all the way from the top floor down we could just kind of make it a, a smaller jump so if you pick them off in the back instead of the front um and she kind of like stops she goes I'll, I'll be the last one out but please make sure the dog gets up okay uh are you sure i can be the last one up i need you to be the second one up i need you to help out with uh uh getting bell and uh my boy here and and she pats the dog uh i need you to make sure that they get up I, i'll be right. Right, I, I, right and she looks at all of you she goes I'm not sacrificing myself. That's not what I'm doing here. I, I just think I've got a really good idea. And you wouldn't do that to the dog? Never. Never. Um, and so she, she walks away. So who's going up first? I am. All right. Um, Whoever's going down, um, actually, uh, Danny, you said that you were uh, you're fine with being second to last. Can you roll me a hold roll? A hold roll, got it. All right. I should I should have a character sheet up, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, no blue dice or no no speed dice, nothing like that. Just just hold. All right. Do. -do, -do. <sighs> First roll of the night. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> and now that you've said that. Okay. Uh, two two levels of success. Perfect. So hold is uh, used to kind of uh, show your, um, your, your ability to deal with the pressures uh, uh, around you. And, and the fact is, is that you're hearing this, this, pitter patter uh, on the walls and you and you start to hear some of the glass breaking so the hold roll is there to basically stand your ground to be able to stay there and 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 move forward with your actions without any sort of uh uh falter right as if i was holding a door <gasps> hold the door anyways um sorry i, I have gotten so many bad looks from Janine and Kiwi tonight. It's not even funny. It's not your fault. On my end, it's not your fault. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think those are directed at me. Actually. Okay, okay, good, good. I'm glad it, I'm glad we're we're sharing that instead of just Absolutely. me always getting <laughs> berated by the tw those two. <clears throat> so one by one, you all start making it up there. Um, um, Shauna, will you do me a favor and start? Will you roll me some? Um, will you start rolling me some attack rolls? Um, Sam, I do you want to go up after Janine? How do you want to? What? Where do you want to go? Um, let's see. There's last, second to last. Uh, really, the only position yet to be determined is uh Quinn versus Mac, who goes up er earlier. So. Mac will look to Quinn. Confirming that my attack rolls are 100? Yes. It, yeah, they're percentile die, and it is because you're using a bow, it is going mm -hmm. to be uh, the bow uh, roll. All right. Opening that up. Uh, 
la, la, la. There is. So that's seven degrees of success on the first one. So the max bad. you can do is four. So, okay. Um, I rolled an eight and I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the max you can have is four degrees of success. So, so four degrees of success. Yeah. With that bow, uh, I'm going to say you could, you, you will definitely use lethality on that one and just take one of these guys out. Just whoosh, right in the, right in the head. Uh, you, you start picking them off. Um, with four degrees of success, I'm also going to just say that you're going to continue that action and just shoot uh, as you feel and start clearing a path roll me roll me a d6 please that is a heavy d6 gift uh that's a five um you're able i'm gonna say you're able to take out five undead from that yes um quinn and mac who ends up going up first <sighs> I think that probably Quinn would help Mac get up um, and be towards the end of getting up. Because I also want to snag a book before I leave. <laughs> but what, yeah. what what book are you trying to take? Um, I have nothing specific in mind, but like I don't have a specific title in mind, I should say. But I want to find something that has to do with um, either ancient weaponry that I didn't already have at home or like explosives 101. Um, yeah, any any of those type of weapon building books okay. or weapon I, research, I guess. I, I'm going to do a, I'm going to have you all do a series of roles. OK, cool. Um, I'm going to do something that this game doesn't necessarily allow. I guess theoretically it does, but um, it, it's a mechanic that I don't ne necessarily always use. Um, Mac, please roll me a resist pain roll. Oh, not even close. Um, let's see. Oh, bad, like, four fail. Okay, so before we get into that, uh, the first question I have is, how do you take, how do you take Quinn attempting to help you? Um, I think anyone who has worked with me to the degree to which it seems like Matt and Finn and Quinn uh, know each other, uh, would offer in appropriate and respectful ways and not the ways that immediately get Max Dander up. Um, that said, things get received whatever way they get received and someone's Dander can just get up. Not for any good reason, not because they were justifiably provoked. Maybe they're stressed. Mm -hmm. Maybe, may maybe. Maybe they're stressed. Um, so I, I think I should probably say not well. I think that's the good answer here. I think not because uh, Quinn says it wrong, but because Mac takes it wrong. Sure. Um, in the process of, of you attempting to help Mac, mm -hmm. um, you, you happen to put your hand on their arm. And... Mac, that is where your resist pain is coming in. Mm -hmm. You, Quinn, you see Mac in a lot of pain, an unnatural amount of pain. And you know that they have injuries and you know that they are in need of medicine and, and pain is sadly a part of their life. But this is not normal. Oh, oh my oh my god i'm i'm so sorry uh did did you want to take some pain medicine i i i did not mean to i do and just the very moment we get up onto that roof i'm going to Ow. so if you could give me just 
just a bit of space. I think yeah, you've I'll, done I'll, I'll walk away. enough. Thank you. Thank you so much. Quinn, uh, roll, me, <laughs> roll me search for your books. Sure. Uh, I mean, Daniel, <laughs> Daniel, as 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 Mac takes a moment for themselves, uh, they uh, rope up their chair in 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 a good manner. Uh, you see, Bell is in the little cage on it, um, and you assist Mac in in pulling the 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 um, the pulley as they climb up the the ladder. They make it to the top. Um, you see that Shauna is up there, Mac, uh, but Shauna is v clearly preoccupied um, to a, to an extent of like, this is probably very stressful for her. Like she wouldn't have noticed you come up. If you were a zombie, you could have easily taken her up. That's how focused she is in, in doing this. So you have a moment on the roof by yourself before anyone else is up there. Ow. Um, on the back of that failure, I don't think I can do anything meaningful with it. Not on four degrees. Um, I'm going to take that moment uh, and just take a look, see if I can maybe rewrap things a sure. little tighter on that sure. arm. Roll me a first aid check. Uh, Quinn, how was your search roll? I got three degrees of success. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that in the process of searching and going through everything, you're able to find like a, a, like you have been working off of memory when you were doing smithing work, you find an actual like proper how to smith, like, like at home smithing like not even like this is how the old times did it it's literally like this is how you smith at home like kind of thing fuck yeah cool um i'll take it <laughs> daniel um after you have gotten everyone up because quinn uh, quinn runs up uh daniel you kind of look around and you see liz opening the front door Liz? And she starts bolting towards you. And she's like, what are you doing? Go up, go up, go up, oh, go up. All right, all right. I'm up. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> and she follows behind and is literally running as, like, is on, like, as soon as your foot is out of the way, her hand is there. And then sometimes her hands are right next to your feet. And she runs to the back. She is allowing them to fill in. So that they're no longer outside. The biggest amount of noise that has occurred is inside. And so they think that is where food is. And they, of course, rush in and follow after her. And like, like a wave hitting the shoreline, it just crashes into the wall that the ladder is in. And their hands reach up into the air, bloody and covered. Many of them not complete reaching up daniel you're the you and liz are the only two people that see this you see these incomplete people and i'm gonna need you to roll me another hold actually roll me a expression Interesting. Interesting a change of roles. I wonder I wonder if that means anything. Two degrees of success. For a brief moment, you thought you saw your husband, but were <gasps> but quickly, quickly see that it isn't. Oh, okay, good. That's that's not Danny. They they had the same hair, but it was different eyes. You can tell in the eyes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. 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 And you make it up to the top and Liz makes it up to the top. And as soon as she's out, she immediately takes the overly heavy uh, fire resistant thing door and slams it down and sits there. And she looks and she counts 
and she turns and sees Mac you over by yourself. All right. Um, so we're here. How's the how's the back look, Shauna? Shauna's not even like looking at you. She's still taking shots and making sure to uh, keep as many away from the door as possible. Like super hyper focused on that. Uh. Yeah. Where are we you, going next? Um, Liz, Liz kind of walks over and says, um, well, I don't know where you all are going, but I'm heading north. I got to get out of here. And you sure enough see that there's one or two stragglers in the back that Shauna easily picks off. Um, There's a pile of undead uh, dead on the ground, but soft landing. Yeah, I guess really trying to jump down into this pile of there, there's a dumpster with a lid, so you can, <laughs> you can you can jump onto the dumpster with the lid before you jump jump down to the ground. Great. All right, who wants to go mm-hmm. dumpster dive in? I'll go last this time. I can go first. All right, Daniel, roll me a jump slash leap. Jump leap. Ooh. There's so many skills in this game. I kind of love that. Uh, Mac, how would you like to roll this? Oh. Um, So I think... The two of us, uh, my wheels and I, uh, go down together, then reach back up, get Bell, and then do it part one, part two, onto the top of the dumpster. If, if Daniel, if you can flip the lid over, I can just, you know, slowly let yourself down from the ledge kind of vibe. Um, I can definitely and hold do my that, yeah. at the same time. Um, that was, uh, three degrees on the first aid so that at least if I'm doing that, my arm doesn't hurt too freaking badly while I'm lowering down my entire body weight and that of the wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. So, so I also anyone... got, yep. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say everyone that is going to hop off, please roll a jump slash leap. Mm-hmm. Mac, I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be a composure roll. Uh, and the reason mm-hmm. I think this is a composure role is because you are holding yourself and you're trying to hold from the pain as well as everything else. So I think this is a good composure role. Because you're could I also offer an assist. Like, do you want to like hold Bell and jump down with Bell in your arms? Whatever, whatever would make Max roll easier if that's like I'm for what it's worth, I already rolled in them. Like, you're good. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll mind my business. They're 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 good at this. They're good at this. Or they're right. they're a stubborn mother. Like take your pick. <laughs> All right. I did get one degree of failure. Okay. Yeah. And uh, one degree of success. Okay. Um. Is okay. Quick question. Also, is Liz still with us or no? Uh, she is going to jump down as well. Okay. Cool. Um. Well, I got two degrees of failure. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Mac, what do you got? Uh, three success on composure. Yeah, you you kind of okay. So we'll we'll go around. Uh, Dan, you had one degree of success. You jumped down. You're totally fine. Quinn, this is easy. Or not Quinn. Uh, Shauna, this is pretty easy for you. Liz jumps down. Uh, uh, Quinn, you had how many degrees of failure? It was two. Two. When you jump down you kind of slip a little bit on your on your your feet and as you go down you hit the side of the dumpster instead of the lid of the dumpster and and you kind of you hit your ankle on it um oh no roll me 1d6 okay how much damage you're going to take from this fuck 
Uh, remember, yeah. three. Your ankle. A three. Okay. So uh, on your character sheet, um, oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if it's on the digital one or not, but on your character sheet, there's a section called vitality and there are mm -hmm. injuries. So um, we're going to call this first injury um, uh, a slammed ankle. Okay. Uh, okay. And in the little square next to it, you're going to put a three there. So if someone wants to heal that ankle, they will have to roll a first aid check and have three degrees of success to uh, heal that injury. Um, you all jump down. Um, yeah, you all jump down. Um, everyone roll me a spot listen now that you're down. Ooh. Let's start with Mac. Um, look, it doesn't matter. It's a 93 on the dice. Um, I saw Quinn go down and I instantly tunnel into my bag, which I already kind of had close at hand for sure, reasons sure. that for bear mentioning. Um, and anything happening around me, I do not notice. All right, so four degrees of failure. Shauna, what do you got? Three degrees of success. Three degrees of success. I love that. Uh, Quinn, what do you got? I got two degrees of failure. Ooh, okay. Two degrees of failure. And Daniel? Also two degrees of failure. Ooh. Oh, I, I accidentally put the wrong one. Um, if all of you are okay with this, uh, I would like to narrate this instead of give. Normally, I like to give my the players the option, but I I'm 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 curious if you are all okay with me narrating this out. Um, please narrate our death. Please tell us how you're about to kill us. <sighs> Fuck me up, Sam. All right, so. You all get down, um, Quinn, your ankle is killing you. It is throbbing. You can already see inflammation happening. Um, you know, Mac could tell you differently, but if you see a inflammation that quickly, your, your first thought is immediately a break, right? It's possible it's a break, but hopefully you're lucky enough and it's not, and it's just it got hit really bad. Shauna, you are moving forward and you see a couple of undead still moving from the tree line and so you're focused on them uh i'm gonna go ahead and use your three degrees of success to you eliminating those daniel you get down and you help liz and you help liz's dog get out and the two of you are standing there mac you are uh digging through your first aid kit but you know you can't stay here um does this this uh, clearly this one has this the seat has a buckle right? Um, yes, it has the bad idea seat belt. Yep. Um, They're unsafe. You, you all know that you need to leave. You all know that you need to head south again. You know that Liz is going to head north, and she goes, "Hey, um, before I leave, uh, I know you weren't comfortable telling me where you're out, where your your clubhouse was or whatever. But if I happen to run into someone, is there something I can say, like a code word or something, so that they just don't kill me on sight? Um, Dana, do you remember if we changed the password? <laughs> well, I I thought it was uh uh shit. I thought it was something like. I fly the friendly skies or whatever. Yeah. I or was that I last month? Wait, what month is it? <laughs> you ask for Brian and you tell him, Mac said, I told you so. There are other people out there, you fool. I think that will work. Or the friendly skies thing, one or the other. All right. Um, I, I'm, I, I got to go. Uh, be best of luck. And um, she, with her rebar, sharpened rebar, her and her dog run north. What would all of you like to do? I think we were going west. 
uh, west a little, then cut south, ultimately. Yeah, let's pull up this map from last time. <laughs> you all start to head forward. Mac, you grab onto your wheels and you push forward. And at first, it kind of feels like the lock is activated, but you look down and the lock's not there. Like, it's there, but it's not activated. And you try to pull forward, and as you pull forward, you look back, and there you have a hand grabbing onto the tire, trying to pull up, and you can hear it finally. The thing, and it's like reaching up, grasping at you as it's holding your tire in its hand. I, do I also see this? Um, I'm, um, sure. Or Mac, would you like to take the first, uh, well, if you care in any way to react off and, ah, <laughs> um, which is probably what you get as an alert to the situation. Um, I think just Mac is going to fall into it. If you have one wheel controlled, you can do a back tip and they're just going to try to knock off the elbow because that's with the momentum of what this thing is doing. Because you can write yourself afterward. But just try and shake it loose, not by physically shaking the wheel. Um, but trying to dislodge it. You hear Mac yell and when you all turn back, you see Belle uh, barking and you see Mac on the ground now because you all miss the first interaction. You hear Mac yell. And as you all turn around to hear Mac, you see Mac on the ground in their chair, still buckled in as Bell has jumped out and is barking and is, is growling at something. And you all see it now. You see this creature grabbing up and trying to move. You can see that its lower extremity has completely been gone, like removed. And this creature, this unalive monstrosity was living underneath this dumpster. And as you had all gotten down, it, it, it had awoken and it has reached out and has grabbed the first thing it could see, which was Max tire. So, so we're going to go into initiative at this point. So I would like to hear what everyone would like to do. Mac, because uh, you are the closest, I'm going to say, why don't you tell me what you want to do first? And I will explain how many roles. Um, for anyone uh, that has not seen or played uh, Outbreak Undead, the way the system works is initiative is rolled based off of how well you roll. So every single round, uh, uh, the GM or storyteller will ask each person what they want to do, and they will have to tell what they want to do, and the GM will say, okay, roll this many dice. And then once everyone has rolled dice, that's how we determine the order, and that happens every single round. So, Mac, what would you like to do? You are on the ground. You have rolled out. Uh, if I've escaped its grapple, I'm going to write myself and uh, GTFO. Those are the goals. What you have seen is while the hand has stayed on to the tire, you can see that the hand has... You can, let me let me be a little bit uh, change of description. You could hear the parts of its hand breaking as you roll, as the hand has deteriorated over time that it has been unalive. And you, as you roll, while the hand is still on there, it 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 is not activated. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. So uh, if you write yourself up, it will you'll be you'll have some uh, spokes, you know, you know, those like when people put cards in their bike tires, they'll be like that. But with fingers. Um. <laughs> Fantastic. Evocative. Uh, so you said you want to write yourself up and GTFO. Yes. I'm going to say that's two speed dice. Give me two speed dice. Uh, Shauna, what would you like to do? So hearing this call of distress, I would probably approach and attempt to literally at the joint of the hand, kick the hand and wrist bone apart to okay. like break that off. 
So I'm going to say one speed dice to go there and one speed dice to attack. Uh, and that roll for you is going to be a brawl roll. That's what that's going to be for you. So uh, two blue dice and a percentile dice on brawl. Uh, Quinn, oh, what would you like to do? Um, I think I would like to... I think I would like to maybe try to pull the wheelchair and or like after experiencing uh, uh, grabbing Mac the wrong way earlier, I think I'm going to avoid trying to touch them and instead try to move the wheelchair further out, maybe try to pull it out so that uh, Shauna can disassemble the arm, if you will. Um, but, would, would, yeah. would Sam DeLev, not Mac, uh, like to give an opinion on on wheelchair etiquette? I think Quinn will know that if two people are trying to move the chair and they haven't previously coordinated, it's gonna like it's like two people trying to move <laughs> one shopping cart. Are you still buckled in? Also, um, yes. yes. Like I said, they're oh, bad. Okay. It's a bad idea. The the okay. seatbelt. They're unsafe. That chair falls with you. But right now, it's very useful. Got it. Okay. Well, I will not coordinate that. Instead, I will just try to shoot it then. Interesting uh, option. Okay. Um, I, I will say it's just your normal roll for your attack, which I think is like, what, two blue dice and your attack. Um, I will uh, say yeah. I will say I'm going to throw a difficulty dice onto this situation as uh, two of your friends are going to be somewhat in the way. So you're going to add one dice on one D six onto your percentile die. Um, okay. So it basically means that you have a higher chance of failure versus success. Uh, Daniel, what would you like to do? Um, seeing this creature um, near one of my friends, I think my priority would be to try to get it away from them. So I want to kind of use my sledgehammer like a, like a golf club. And just like knock the the thing away from us, basically. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say that will be your normal attack, but also uh, one difficulty dice because you have two friends uh, that are intertwined with uh, said creature. So go ahead and roll that, um, Mac. What'd you get? Yeah. Uh, um, yep. did I, looks did, like a one degree of success. What did I make you roll again? Um, you made me roll. Um, hang on. I I assumed it was a uh, lift pull. I don't. You didn't actually. I don't know that you called out the the specific. Yeah, a lift pull makes sense. Lift pull makes sense. Yeah. So also, I yeah. I was going to say also for anyone else within the group, if I tell you a role and you think there's a better role for you, uh, feel free to call it out and say, no, you know, I think this, uh, can I do this instead? Right? Like if I said lift pull and, and, and Sam was like, can I do dodge instead? Uh, I'm, 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 you know what I mean? I'm down. Oh, I should have said dodge. I now realize that I, I swapped the numbers and it is in fact one degree of failure, um, on, on lift pull. Cause my lift pull is not, fantastic um but here we are now dodge uh, would have been great but it wasn't dodge it was lift pull it's very valid so one degree of failure on mac all right what do you got shauna so a neutral 41 on a 42 okay so we'll keep that there and what do you got quinn um also a neutral a neutral yeah all right Daniel, what do you got? I have a uh, three degrees of success. Hey, that's what we hey. needed. Whoa. <sighs> Carry us. <laughs> so uh, with these neutrals, I'm going to say both of you, uh, uh, Shauna and Quinn, it's less the, of, of a failure and more of the fact that you see Daniel just booking it in there. And you're like, I don't, I don't need to. He's got it. He's got, he totally got this. Protecting my ankle by not putting it in there. 
Yeah, exactly. You're like, I don't need to put my foot in my mouth in this situation. Daniel's got this shit, right? Um, so yeah, Daniel, you come in here and you you use your sledgehammer like a golf club and just boom, and you all just see a head just um Mac, uh, as you try to pull away, if it wasn't for the fact that Daniel has just completely uh, obliterated this creature's existence, um, you would be still stuck, but you're able to move. Um, do you wear, do you, does, does Mac wear gloves? Uh, ooh, okay. Um, Sam doesn't, Mac does. Yeah, I mean, it's um, I think they're very different. Yeah, I think they're very different people. So that's why I asked the question. I'm like slightly different. They <laughs> they have the same opinions on dogs and libraries. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Mac wears the glove. Mac, as Mac is starting to push forward, uh, Mac can you can hear the 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 gumming up of 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 the fingers. Uh, rem- oh, I- <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. October was a mistake. <laughs> Um oh and and there goes there goes Sam. <laughs> <laughs> They're leaving because thank you. Hey, I did not cr- I know the I know the one rule with Sam, all right? I did not describe anything. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, no, we're, um, good. we're good. You're all free. The the library is full. You all have accomplished your goal of getting off this room you have still you still need to move forward and quinn something is tingling at the back of your head that was not normal it's not letting you let go of how you hurt mac on accident like it you know that there's something wrong but now is not the time for that conversation. Now is the time conversation to get going, to start moving. And all of you, uh, from what I remember, uh, are planning on heading what north and east, or oh, north and west, I think is what we decided on last time. I, I thought, thought we were doing I'm, uh scrolling. I thought back. it was west and south. West and yeah. south. Yeah, let me yeah. scroll back up to the map. <laughs> Is I'm it, going north. We're on Buena Vista, oh. north of Olive right now. That means that we need to head west so that we can get to Barham. That's the only, that was the way we planned on cutting through the hills to get to Universal. Yeah, I was thinking we would hit, like, basically head through Magnolia Park-ish. Unless so I'm then we'd go there. one block a bit, uh, like a block or so north, something like mm-hmm. that, um, and then in order to head west. Ra- because Olive would take us, like... We would just stare down the gates of Warner Brothers. So if we take uh, Magnolia, right. we can at least go around by way of like that weird diner thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going north. You're going south. As you are walking down, I'm gonna say you make it to Magnolia Park without any incident. But it's nighttime, and you know that nighttime is not the safest place. Because the undead usually stay out of the sun because of the massive amount of radiation, or not radiation, because the massive amount of UV rays, it it, it burns them. It, it There's nothing out them for them to eat. They only come out during the day when they know that there's food. And now that it is nighttime, you can see that the broken glass windows and the broken doors, they're starting to come out. The once empty streets are now starting to have shambling hordes of undead. And in the distance, you hear it. It's a howl. Not the typical growl and grumble and moan of an undead, but something much larger. You hear it, and it echoes throughout the streets. It's it's difficult to even tell what direction it came from, but you can tell that it is almost like a call, and they all start exiting the buildings, and more and more fill the streets. What would you all like to do? 
Well, there's a target around the street, around the corner. Let's, we need to get indoors now. Again, I know we just came from indoors, but we need to do it silently. We need to get indoors and away from the streets. Whatever the fuck that is, I'm sure it's plenty adept at tracking us. What doors do you suggest? And I point at around here, it's pretty suburban-y houses. These are like single story kind of kiddos with the occasional like apartment, small apartment complex. Maybe a, a, an apartment complex? I mean, the second floor is, is seeming a little bit more safe. I wouldn't mind some high ground. That might be the best. Okay. <sighs> um, roll me a spot listen. I got uh, one degree of success. Great. Same. Great. I have three successes, three degrees. Great. I have four degrees of success. Amazing, amazing, amazing on top of one another. All successes across the board. So I'm going to do something different, which is I'm going to not only uh, give you your success of being able to spot an apartment complex that has two stories, but I'm just going to say that you're able to spot and find a clearing to make it there. Um, say, uh, this is a Sam question. Sam, have you gotten enough wheelchair nonsense today or, or are you okay with more? Yeah. <laughs> If there's nonsense to be had, like I have, there there are plans for uh, the tops of apartment buildings. Well, it's not there's a top plans. of apartment buildings, but it is a Burbank. It is it is not the most up to date city. Uh, the it has stairs. There's everything. No are you kidding me? They're brand new apartment complexes, and they still have stairs. <laughs> what is the Fair Housing Act? We don't know. <laughs> so. Sure enough, you find yep. one, and it's it's only mm -hmm. got stairs. It's got a nice cool. set of stairs, though. But you know, love it, love it, love it. Oh heck, I just I hate. To... Okay, do they at least have railing on the side that you can do the pull? Okay, all right. Thank God for small favors. Um, mm. that's yeah. definitely going to be a pull lift, though. Oh, see, I took it as a resist pain to see oh. if I could even oh. do the pull lift. You've got, and that's you've got where two. I already failed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's oh. where I failed and failed hard. It's a 90 on the dice, my friend. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this no more. that you pick different dice. Please. <laughs> they've been, they've been okay. They've been, yeah, they've been okay. I got a success on the spot. Yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. that, that take. I like rolled a 20 friggin' three. They're, they give it and they take it away. It's just that when they take it, they take it in really large. Ah, I, I cannot do this. I can't yeah, do this. I'm gonna. No. Say, I'm gonna say uh, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, with such a high failure rate on this, uh, yeah. you literally reach up with nope. the bad arm yep. and grab yourself to start pulling yourself up, nope. and you scream out in pain uncontrollably. <laughs> I oh, immediately no, like pick something out of my pocket and kind of shove it towards your face. How can I help you? This cannot. Are you okay? What is wrong with you? Ow. Why? Did you, did you fall weird? Glass is something. What's wrong with you? Oh, glass. Yeah. And I go and like, may I? Yeah, I can, I can help too if you need it. And I start to try to inspect you. We need to, we need, we have to get up there. Um, if, right. if one of you can get the, the chair, I, 
I, I can. They help. make the world's most resentful piggyback uppy arms there has ever been. <laughs> Their eyes are like you know murder cat eyes. They're asking for help, but the eyes are murder cat. Okay, I Daniel. My handkerchief. And bite down on this. <laughs> Daniel will pick you up, but it, like he's very like hesitant to do it. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I'm helping, but am I helping? <laughs> and I'm kind of looking at you, you very with medical training eyes, scrutinizing. Like, you, um, we've hydrated. There should be nothing that is you do not wrong see, with you outside of the normal. Shauna, you do not see any physical injury uh, but you know with Mac uh, there are other injuries that aren't necessarily phys like visibly seen I'm like the, the, and I'm like this doesn't sound like a we've done all this traveling it doesn't sound like a chronic pain <laughs> issue but in, I, I'm like this seems something is off something <laughs> Upstairs, uh, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, you take Mac up. Uh, who's taking the chair? I've got the chair. Okay, Shawnee, you pick the chair up and you take the chair up the stairs. Um, it definitely grew the attention of a few, uh, <sighs> the stream of pain. Uh, but you think you can get out of eyesight and into an apartment uh, before they can intelligently follow you. Um, you go to the apartment doors. First door is knocked straight down. The second one seems to be closed. Uh, when you go to it, the door is locked. There are four apartments up here, and it looks like the other three are all closed and locked up. One of them does have a broken window, though, so you could go through the window. Oof. Which Which room? What was that? Uh, Matt <laughs> talks into the handkerchief at first and then leans over um, on from wherever uh, Daniel, I don't know if he did a fireman's carrier or, or payback or whatever, um, toward like, look at rug, look at like magnetic thing attached to rain gutter. People love that, the hide a key. They're looking around for the hide key. All right, roll me a search with one difficulty dice. Uh, no, you you roll really bad on your pain roll. Roll me roll it with two difficulty dice. Remind me difficulty dice real quick. You are rolling uh, your percentile dice on mm -hmm. search, uh, but you're adding two additional d sixes, and you're adding all four of those dice up together. And remember, Fantastic. if you roll a six, they explode, so it, that number goes up. They do not. Um, and. How do you like a 13? How many degrees of success is that? Um, I have a 46 on my okay. search. Uh, you look around and uh, you kind of like, because you're higher up, you're looking at high up. Um, and then you kind of smack Daniel and you're like, rug, rug. And, oh, and oh, rug. <laughs> Daniel, you oh, pick God. up the rug and yeah. sure enough, uh, there is a key there. Good, good eye. Nice. And yeah. you unlock the room, and as you, I assume all of you rush in, uh, closing the door, and you lock it, and as soon as you get in, you are still hit with the very, very familiar stench of death. And oh, that shit. is where we're going to take our first break. And by first, I mean our only break. So we're going to be back in about 15 minutes. Hydrate uh, or die straight, as Sam says. Uh, we'll be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> All right. So uh, during chat, uh, during chat, during break, we were having a chat. We were talking about Magic the Gathering cards because I have a weird obsession now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to pull up the boxes. Um, we were trying to decide what everyone's, uh, their character, what color deck they were. Uh, the only definitive one we all agreed on was Shauna is definitely red. <laughs> Which I have no idea what that means. Shauna is just, just damaged, just fucking damaged. 
Just, yep, exactly. I heard you like damage, so here's some damage. Here's also some damage. Do you like damage? I like damage. Take damage, please. There, I've given you damage. I hope you like damage, because I like damage. And so maybe you do, too. Here, have some more. Pit my damage ride. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely black, uh, and the reason I say that is because of the zombies. So I figure that's obvious. Boo. <laughs> okay. All right, I, I'm curious of what you all think because we can't figure out what Quinn's deck is. So we'll, we'll play while you all tell us what you think Quinn's deck is. As we had left off right before break, you had just entered uh, the room. You had closed the door, you had locked it, and you had the very familiar scent of death. It's been six months. It's very, very possible that there is either an undead creature still lingering amongst this room or you're about to walk into the room of someone's last living location. It's whether or not you want to search for it is the question. Uh, I, I can do the searching um, if you guys want to stay back here. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll I think Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I think Daniel just like um, takes the sledgehammer in his hands and just starts looking around. Are you, um, Mac, are you back in your chair? Are you sitting, laying? What are you doing? Um, let's see. Uh, what room did we go? You're like, in the living room still. We're yeah. in a living room, right? Yeah. 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 Um, screw, screw this. It's a carpet. I am on it. I'm lying down. Screw everything about this day. And um, don't like my face. You're very cute. Don't lick my face. <laughs> I love you. Don't lick my face. This is your typical Burbank apartment. It is very small, and you can only imagine what the price was when it was still active. At least three grand for this one bedroom apartment. In the front room, the room has literally split in half. The left side is, is a living room full of carpeting. The right side, some white wall painted room uh they tried to be original and different and painted a chalk wall on on it the apartment comp the 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 cupboards are just all looks like 30 times painted over white and there's a fridge that is closed uh and there is a from where you all are you can see that there are at least two other rooms you assume one of them is a bedroom the other one is a bathroom Um, Daniel, you said you're going to search. Roll me a, uh, spot. Listen, please. Nice. Uh, I am using my flashlight. Does that help me? Um, you aren't, oh, you are in the dark. So yes, that we, you will not get any difficulty dice. <laughs> Here's the help. You don't have <laughs> negative. <Disadvantage. laughs> nice. I'll take it. Oh, well, that is three, uh, failures. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I have originally, um, I had one thing that was in this room. I'm going to, so this game has a system called, uh, I think it's like threat. Basically, uh, I can take those negatives and use it as threat against you in a later, uh, time. And I'm going to do that, uh, so that we don't have to narratively change what was in this room. Um, and sure enough, you walk into the bedroom and you see that there is, um, a person uh, probably has been there for about six months. They are not moving and they are not alive and they are not undead. They are just in a pool of their own existence. I quietly close the door and say, uh, I, we can't use that room y'all. There's just a dead person in there. So What they die of? Uh, I couldn't tell. They had liquid. They had turned into jelly at this point. So, I mean, if you want to go look, they're. I, I don't think they're coming back. All right. I'll take your word for it. If they start busting down the door, <clears throat> it's on you. I'll um. I'll put a chair underneath the <laughs> door handle just in case. <clears throat> don't lick my face. I'd uh, love to have a look at you, Mac. 
I know. I know. Are you okay? No. Did you fall on something? Yes. What's the deal? You don't want me to examine you. Hey, I... If you can find things I didn't find, go ahead. But you're just gonna find infection and not enough antibiotics to treat an infection. Is that what's causing your pain? Uh, today, yeah. Tomorrow, I'm sure it'll be something new and exciting. That's why I want to get meds. Um, what's the bullshit roll? Um, that would be composure. Um, let me just double- No. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, composure would be expression, expression. Oh, you sure it's not composure? Yes, composure. Damn. Uh, I, I, fair enough. This person is full of it. <laughs> no, they're, they're doing the, transparently doing the uh, best lies are in a half truth kind of deal. Why don't you telling me? Gosh, so many things. Uh, you want the sad childhood? It actually is. No, what I want from you. Childhood. I'm not going to check you without your consent, but there's something that you're not telling me. Okay, cool. Check me. And I would like to do just a visual, like, is there anything that would indicate? Mac is wearing a long sleeve t-shirt as they are currently wearing. Um, so visually, unless you were to undress them in some fashion, visually you see nothing wrong with them. Uh, I can move to the other room if uh, that'll help. Mac, it's your choice, but I need to see what's going on. Cool. Go for it. Yeah, I think Daniel just, uh, goes to the bathroom or something. Adorable. Yeah, no, Mac has theater kid energy. They're indifferent. So or they have apocalypse kid energy. Over the clothing, I start mm -hmm. to kind of pat you down and check for spots of tenderness. Any How sore, sensitive areas? Yeah, no, I remember my TSA. Mm -hmm. I used uh, to recite it to them. Sure, sure enough, you, you find that there is a spot. Where exactly on your arm is it? Um, Pretty type of firm, I would say, yeah, mid. So when you Point tenderness. when you reach their uh, their arm, uh, not only is there tenderness and a, a very clear uh, pain, but you can tell that there is bandages underneath the arm or underneath the long sleeves. Would you like me to change these dressings for you, Mac? Just did. I'll can pull it up. Show you. They fresh. May I? And I begin to un. Go for it. They're attempting the medical bluff that one thing will look like another kind of thing. I mean, uh, if you, I, I am not a dermatologist. I can't tell you the difference between necrotizing fasciitis and a uh, standard infection. You know, as as the last few layers of gauze uh, is removed from their arm, you can see that uh, what is there is in fact an open wound, uh, and it is uh, wet. Um, and you can, you start to pull the last layer on it and you can see that there are a few <sighs> lines where their blood uh, vessels have kind of started to pop and it looks black and infected underneath the skin. And you can see that the wound itself, it's clear that this is teeth marks. And I kind of lean in. When were you bitten? Mac. Four days. 
inside the compound? I wasn't inside at the time. And they, they let, they let you back in, let alone sent you out again. They sent me well, out so again. That's the right side of the walls to be on, right? And so I'm going to get medicine and I'm going to figure something out and actually do things properly. What do you think is going to solve this? We've yet to uh, find something that would solve this. We've yet to robustly try anything. This was overwhelming when it came down. Have we used half the tools of what used to be modern medicine? No. And you think we're going to get access to that on this trip without putting the rest of us in danger? You can split if you want. I'm not going to fucking leave you. Or do. That's on you. No one I'm knows. on the right. I'm nowhere near those poor kids with the flu. And I have every motivation to go and try and find things. Antivirals. Hey, that are going to help them. We don't even know how long you have. Wouldn't it be safer to just fucking cut the arm off? That was what I thought, too. Until it had very obviously hit my kidneys. It's systemic. At a certain point, faster than I thought. But no, that was that was a while ago. By your estimation, how long do you have? <sighs> More, I hope. I don't know. Uh, it's variable in each person and predicated in part on a music. music. I kind of hoped we wouldn't be in Burbank by tonight. Let's put it that way. I start to wrap your arm again. There's other houses. Won't take it personal. We're not going to leave you to die alone. But I do need to tell them. You need to tell them. Let's go back hey, is, does everyone have their clothes on? Can I come back out? Fucking damn it. It's a whole pajama party in here. Oh, sweet. I love pajama parties. <laughs> Quinn, you were in the room. So yeah. y you you've definitely know what's going on. So that's why you reacted the way you did earlier. The pain, I know, is probably immeasurable, but mm. Daniel, you see any antibodies or anti? Wait, what am I trying to say? Not antibodies. <laughs> Did we lose antibodies? What is it, the magic school bus? In yes, fact, that's exactly, exactly what I would have hoped for. Unfortunately, Cedar Sinai is an epicenter of radiation, making monoclonal antibodies shockingly <laughs> hard to get unless we go as far as UCLA. Um, uh, it, no, the antibacteria. The, 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 the strongest thing I've seen was a. Uh, Ibuprofen. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. Okay. Yeah, they had a ton of it. Now, I actually believe uh, someone in the group does have pain meds. Oh, somebody was holding on to those. Yep. Yeah. I am. Um. So far, um. It's one of those that has the little paper seal with the prescription over it. Um, so you'd also know where it's broken. Um, Max try just trying to raw dog this. They're, yep. will, um, they're trying to hang on to meds for being the purpose of meds. As you all are having this conversation, you all 
feel, not hear, you feel <clears throat> on the roof. What? The fuck what? Is that? And the door. then, oh, the door's been closed for a while. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you walked in and closed the door. You then hear footsteps, but with each footstep, instead of just pat, 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 um, you hear a, a almost a grab with each footstep. And r a lot of roofs in Bur Burbank actually have like rocks on them um, to just dis distribute heat. Uh, I think that's the reason why I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I don't know. But so you can hear the gravel rocks on the top of the roof rolling underneath the feet and you can hear each footstep. <laughs> <laughs> And then you hear it walk from one end of the building all the way above you and across to the first room. And then you you feel the building shake as whatever it was jump off. What the fuck was that? And I think we got to be quiet, you guys. It might still be listening for us. And you hear the sound again. That sounds like my department head. <laughs> All of you, please roll me a stealth roll. I have three degrees of failure. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I have one degree of success. I also have one degree of success. <clears throat> Fine. New dice. Four degrees of failure. 96 on the dice. Ooh, we did it. It's because they don't match, right? It's the blue and purple and then the purple and like they weren't with their actual friend. Yeah, no. You, you, get, you gotta get one of these non-binary dice. Oh, a non-binary! Yeah! I think I have some somewhere. <laughs> you all are sitting there and how would you like to describe your noise in which you make? I I think I accidentally step on the remote and well, turn no, on. Like, there's uh, no electricity. There's no there's no power after six. Oh, minutes, okay, okay. Definitely no power. Okay. Uh, I would. Uh, what do you What do you say about you placing your like you had went through the house looking with the hammer? What do you say about like you just like setting it down and it just hitting a weak spot and it just. Uh, oh, I. Yeah, like you don't, I, I like you don't lose it. You don't lose it, right? It's not like it goes all the way to the first floor. You just set it and you just hit it the wrong spot, like a weak part of the floor, and it just I I thought you were gonna say, like, with all the like the rumbling and the rattling that's been going on, like what if that the hammer was like on a wall, Ooh, but with all the vibrations, yep. it just like slides and makes a noise. Ooh, okay, I like that. That's better. That's much better. And it hits the floor, bell starts barking at it and there's Ooh, mine oh i like both of those because they'll um, bark at anything they'll bark at we did it so, so <laughs> the, the the hammer falls and it slides and it hits the it hits right behind bell and it scares the living bejeebus out of her because she doesn't realize that it was there and so she skitters across the the floor yelping and barking not sure what what exactly is going on and as that happens you feel it again <laughs> on top of the ceiling. Sweetie, no. Sweet, sweetie, Bell, stop, please. You can lick my face, please. Please, 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 please be quiet. It's um, too late for that. Let's see. Um, let's use this as a persuade with a difficulty dice of, of, of 
of two. As you're trying to trying to persuade a dog. Yeah, a dog that I don't that I don't know. Um, so let's see that hit. Ooh, it almost hit that second degree of failure, but no, it's just one. So, so, uh, you've gotten Belle to stop barking, but she is still, still doing that high pitched cry. Um, and you're trying to muffle that sound as much as you possibly can without not only hurting her, but calming her down at the same time. And the footsteps continue to walk until it's directly above all of you. And all of a sudden, a fist goes through the ceiling. And you, from, from the roof, you literally see a fist come through and the hand open up and grab onto the roof and start to pull at the roof, leaving a giant hole in the roof. What would you all like to do? Get the oh, fuck God. out of there. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah, we, we got to start writing. Mac, what would you like to do? October was a mistake. Um, I'm going to cover the retreat because they're going to start running. And I know what that looks like. You run, then you hit... Um, the stairs out the door, those like three to four little steps. Then you hit the ones that I already failed at earlier. So I get Bell under my chair and I want to pull the long gun because guess what? They already found me. Um, and I'm going to lay onto my back and lean up. All right, roll me. Roll me the normal attack with one additional blue speed dice for you to I... do this. Uh, Shauna, what would you like to do? So I will a hold position next to Mac, and I am going to start firing. Um, okay. Roll me, roll me your uh, your normal attack. Uh, Daniel, I believe you're going to run, and Quinn, you were going to run. Is that correct? I think seeing our compatriots like stand our, their ground, I, I think that Daniel is might, might stay actually. Damn. Yes, but <laughs> I would like to, if there's anything like a glass bottle, like an empty wine bottle or something, or a full one, I don't fucking care. Um, something that I can just open the door and throw it like to initiate sound elsewhere i would like to do that okay all right uh roll me your for you it's going to be i believe there's a throw option uh yes so roll me a throw and two speed dice got it um for daniel you're gonna stay are you gonna swing at the hand what are you doing Oh yeah, if it's in if it's in range yeah i mean it's it's it. it's an la apartment the roof is like Six and a half feet. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> okay. I mean it, it's an LA apartment, right? The roof is not that high. If it if its fist went through it, like it, it you can easily with a with a sledgehammer hit it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll roll your spring. roll your normal attack. Everyone, go ahead and roll them dice. Roll them bones. Um, I have a plus for long guns. Mm -hmm. Um, under my gear, what's that do? Under uh, that, that's already calculated in your skills. I, yeah, perfect. Freaking love that. Thank you. It's just telling you that the under the gear section, it's just telling you why your number is higher, right? It's just supposed got to, it. It's, cool, yeah. fantastic. Love that uh, for me. Yeah, it, it's for some reason it isn't its own column, which I thought was really weird. Like I feel like it should have been three columns. Like it should be like. I mean, I did my own character sheet, so I did this to myself. Sure, 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 sure. Um, uh, what do you got, Quinn? So, um, I got three degrees of success on the throw, and also I rolled a five total. 
on the 2d6? Damn. Uh, that was a five, you said? Yes. All right. Um, what did you get, Daniel? I have a, a seven on my speed dice, and I rolled four degrees of success. Wow. Amazing. Uh, Shauna, what do you got? I also have a seven on my speed dice and one level of success. All right. And Mac, what do you got? Uh, four on the speed dice, uh, one level of success by one. Uh, I, look, <laughs> all that matters is one, all right? Um, all right, so I believe, Quinn, you got a five. That was the lowest uh, of the group. I did. Oh, I thought there was a four. Yeah, I have a four. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. So, Mac, you're first. You're up first with your, you fall back, you aim your gun, you fire. How much damage are you doing? Um, I have, um, okay. So looking at this, I have uh, one red die on here, I mm -hmm. believe. But, um, if you want to look at a gear and I would, confirm, I would be more than happy to confirm yeah. that with you. It would be Sam. fantastic. Um, it's, do, 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 do. we talk a lot, Sam. Um, I know it's pretty far <laughs> back. Um, if you search I found, I found the hacker it. voice, you'll find it. Yeah, no, I, I found it. I found it. Um, so yes, that is going to be that is going to just be one red dice. Yep. Because it was only one. Oh, she's okay. So high is high is good, right? Please tell yep. me high is good. Did you roll a six? Yes. Okay, so that is now a five, and you roll that dice. Right, again. It's a five with an explode. You told me for another one. There we go. Yeah, that'll get him. You got a six when you rolled a six. You got to roll two dice and you got a six. Um, <laughs> yeah. There, let, let's focus on the positives and not Absolutely. the October, which. All right. You fire. So as this thing rips a hole open, you can see this like shadow of a person standing there. And and like the light in in the outside is just illuminating the stars around them, and so you're only able to see an outline of this person. And you fire straight away, and you see it kind of anchor back as you hit it. Quinn, you're next with your five. Um. <clears throat> so I think that um. I find like a, a wine bottle, champagne yeah, bottle. Yeah, I'm, like I'm, I'm going to say you find a glass bottle of some sort that you're able to chuck easily. With the three Perfect. degrees of success, you have an option. You can use all three degrees of success to try and extract this one BFG that is on the roof right now. Mm -hmm. Or you can use those three degrees of success to distract the, the zombies that are now climbing the stairs after the noise. I think it's going to be for the ones that are now climbing. Okay. You throw it and the, 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 the zombies that are, are stumbling up the stairs uh, stop and, and start to turn their bodies as they hear something on the ground uh, uh, on the first floor because you throw it kind of off to the side and they slowly start turning around and walking down the stairs. Daniel and Sean, if both of you had a seven... Um, you choose who would like to go first. Shauna, you can go first. All right. So I'm going to roll these very heavy dice. If you would like to support Q-Times, you can go to Die Hard Dice and use code Q-Times to get a 10% discount. <laughs> we'll make less noise than this. Uh, or more noise, if you want. <laughs> like the clackity, I roll to attackity. Um, so that's eight on my, my red die. Eight damage on your red die. Yeah, so you, an arrow, you, you fire an arrow, and you see it lodge into this creature, but you're not sure if it's the creature itself or the, the lack of light, but you see the arrow go plunge into what looks like darkness into it. Daniel, it is your turn. Um, so I rolled my red dice. Uh, I did get four degrees of success. So yes. um, I got a uh, five on my red die. 
Sure. Do you, um, are you going to use any of the other degrees of success for additional damage? Um, I believe you can use your additional dice for other things, if I'm correct. Can I? Um, oh, because of because of the weapon. Yeah. So because of the weapon, for each additional degree of success past your first, you can add or for every. I'm sorry. No. 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 So with this weapon, for every degree of success, you can add either two red dice to damage. So you, so for each degree of success, you can spend one of those degrees of success as a stun, which would give the enemy two blue dice on their turn. Or mm -hmm. uh, you could use one to defend, which is you would roll a d6 and you would take that much, you would take that less damage if it attacked you. So those okay. are your options and you can spend them however you would like. I see how this works now. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to use... So one of those uh, degrees of success goes to the damage. One, I want to go to the concussion. Okay. And then one I want to use for defense. Okay, which means you have one more. Uh, one more. Oh, okay. That's, only, that's three degrees. You have four degrees of success. So you have... You can add damage if you would like, or you can add parry or add uh the slow i hmm i think i'm gonna add more slow okay so more stun damage okay so do me a favor roll me two red dice and give me the damage before we do anything else okay um oh okay so 10 so far and then one of them exploded nice 11 11 all right um, and then now roll me four d sixes. These would be speed die. Actually, no, no, I will roll those. I have to add four on its turn. Um, and then roll me another d six, and remember that number because that is the amount of damage you will take less next round if it hits you. All right, nice, thank you. That that's a five. Five, great. So if it does five damage to you, you will take uh, you will take less. You will take five less. Uh, it's only for the round. So if it only does one damage to you, then it only does one damage to you. Um, so it actually spent its turn opening that hole. So we're now at the next round. Yeah, open that hole. Uh, right, Kiwi? That's how you bond. Anyways. Um... Damn. Yeah, I definitely shoot it. I shoot the hell out of it. I shoot until that stop. Mm, mm, All right. Mm -hmm. uh, roll your, your dice. Um, uh, um, Shauna, what would you like to do? So anyway, I start blasting. <laughs> All right. And, uh, Daniel. Yeah. If it, um, if it's coming down or if it's sticking its arm in again, then I'm going to swing at it. All right. Roll your, you're going to roll the same thing. Uh, and Quinn. Um, fuck. I want to, um, everyone is shooting at it. You know, I think I want to create more of maybe a distraction or um, uh, a defense for us. Like if it falls through, can I pull up like couch cushions to like be padding for us or, or you know something along oh, that you're, you're, you're thinking like if you if you fall under uh, like further down um how yeah. about how about this roll me roll me a the one role i wish was in this that is not here which is luck i wish luck was like a role that was in here um but that's unrealistic so you can't use that huh. um is it? Look, as a white man, uh, <laughs> yes, it is. It is not real. Luck is not a real thing. Uh, <laughs> really? Because it sounds like you rolled white man. <laughs> exactly. In in the United States. <laughs> uh, roll me a spot listen, and we'll see what you can find in the room. How's that sound? Roll sure. Your character and. I, I, all I know is is that uh, Janine is talking shit. I don't know what she's saying. Yeah, <laughs> you muted me. You muted me. <laughs> um, also, did I need to roll any speed die? Yes. So you're just going to roll one speed dice. Got it.
All right, everyone roll. Yes. All right, Quinn, why don't we start with you? So I got, um, that would be three degrees of success. Okay. Sorry, no, it's two. It's two. Uh, um, and what was your speed? Uh, five again. Five again. All right. Um, three, two degrees, three degrees of success. No, it was, it was two. I missed two. Oh, okay. I, it was off by two. Gotcha. <laughs> Daniel, what do you got? I had a 12 on my speed die and four degrees of failure. All righty. Uh, Shauna, what do you got? Uh, I got four degrees of success and seven on my die. All right. Uh, and Mac? Uh, seven on the speed dice, and I like my successes like I like my gender neutral. 10 4. Uh, <laughs> speaking of gender neutral, Quinn, uh, you went first. So, wow. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> This is all I, terrible. I think I think Sam, I think you made Kiwi blush. I'm just saying. <laughs> um anyway, so I'm gonna try to find um couch cushions, roll up a rug, something like that, to try to like create a cushioning defense for us. Um, in case either this fucking thing falls through the hole and like it like all the debris of the yeah, ceiling. yeah, yeah. Um and also, if we go down further, like through the floor, mm -hmm. maybe have like a, a back and back yep. and forth. Okay. Type of All thing. right. Okay. All right. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is with your two degrees of success, I'm going to say that you're able to, if this happens, you're able to take 2d6 less of damage if it happens and we will roll that if it happens okay how's that sound yeah so perfect. so just keep that in mind that if it happens and you can divide it up how you want so if one person takes one damage you can do one damage for them and then if everyone else takes like five you'll have to divide it up right like right and and those dice will explode as well we'll do that as well um cool. i believe we had two sevens again mac you had a seven and shauna you had a seven yeah. Uh, which of you two? Well, Mac, you're neutral, so uh, we can just assume that you miss. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Shauna, with your four degrees of success, how would you like this to happen? Um, so I kind of see that Mac's gun is jamming a little bit, and I would like to use one degree of success to like maybe shield them from a little bit of damage if that were to come to you that okay and um i just <sighs> step to the to the side of them even and like draw the attention to myself as i see all of my compatriots kind of fucking up and take the shots from the side of the room okay um, how many degrees of success would you like to use for the damage two okay go for it so how does that, how does that? Uh, let me pull up your sheet real fast and I can tell you. Loop, loop, loop. So for you, you have uh, your composite. So for each degree of success that you use, it's two red dice. So if you're using two degrees of success, that's four red dice worth of damage. Okay, so that's five, six, seven, and the five was a six. Um, so, sorry. You're good. Six, seven plus five is 12. Okay. Cute, not good at math. <laughs> um, You're gay. Gay, gay. Gays aren't good at math. It's true. Nice. Um, 17, 20... What's 17 plus 4? 21. 21. All right. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna I'll I'll give this to you. Um the amount of damage that you have all hit this thing, you would have easily taken two, even three of like the big boys that you're not normally seeing 
And this thing is still going. Daniel, you're the last one up. Four degrees of failure. What does four degrees of failure sound like to you? What if it does fall on top of me, caging me in, but then the the floor underneath us gives way and both of us fall to the first floor? I'm isolated. I'm kind of like pinned underneath it, maybe. Okay, I I love this answer. So let's do let's do one one dice for damage of the debris falling on you, and then another two dice of damage for you and it falling to the fir- first floor. So a total of three red dice. That makes sense. Okay, so that's four, six, so that explodes, so nine so far. Another six, so uh, 14. Another six. So wait, me <laughs> assisting does not help at all. Like, because I use those two dice to try and... Well, I, th- this was this was, this was was da- Daniel's failure. Mm-hmm. So Damn, how much, Daniel! So, so how much damage are we looking at total? 24. 24. Uh, Quinn, would you like to use your two dice? Yeah, I'm gonna roll that right now. <laughs> I'm also using my defense. Does that count? Here? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Ooh, yeah. cool. okay, okay, so six total. Nice, okay. so minus 10. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you were it was originally how much? Uh, 24, and then we're minusing 10, so you're at 14. Yeah. All right, mm-hmm. so this is going to be. That you're gonna divide this across um, fourteen. Um, uh, this is gonna be four points. These are gonna be four separate injuries. Okay, okay. the first three are gonna be four points each, mm-hmm. uh, and the last one is two points. Okay, so um, maybe this the last one is like cuts. Yeah, so it's going to be like. Uh, it's going to be like you have you've got debris puncturing your your stomach. You've got you're you're bleeding. Like this is this is a lot of damage. So we can name each individual one, but at the end of the day, you have a total of five hit points. You have taken four hit points. Uh, each one of them is its own healing check to get rid of. Uh, Kiwi has uh, one point of damage that has not been healed yet, uh, uh, but um, Mac and Shauna are. Well, Max, okay. Shauna's good. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, it, it's its turn. It has fallen down and has fallen on top of Daniel. Um, it's going to assume Daniel's dead because it's underneath it. And now that it is at your level, Daniel's flashlight, which what he was previously using, uh, it is on the floor and it aims right at this creature. And this creature is eight feet tall and has like an all pointed face like it is elongated and it is muscular. And you can see that there are bullet wounds from you. And a arrow wound from uh, Shauna, and there are wounds from it that you all didn't do that have been there, and you have done a lot of damage to it, and it is still alive. It is going to swing at Shauna because Shauna distracted it. Um, it only got a. Uh, one degree of success. Um, uh, so I'm going to roll a d6. You're going to take five points of damage. As its arm slashes out and you cuts your chest. We're now at the top of the round. Daniel, what would you like to do? I'd like to play dad. Okay. 
I'm going to say that that is definitely a uh, composure role. Composure, got it. Yep. Uh, so wait, um, also, I don't know if anyone's audio sounds weird for Jake. It just kind of randomly, yeah. I think, switched mics for you. It, it sounds have, very, yeah. very distant and muffled. Uh, like you're talking. Oh, you're oh, fine. It's fine now. Weird. That was weird. That was so weird. Um, anyway, um, so you let me know if I'm reaching here. <laughs> okay. Um, given that... I had previously found previously found maybe like a wine bottle or something. Presumably, maybe there's more alcohol or something. Um, and presumably, maybe there's also a lighter, right? Um, so I would like to like, you know, maybe wrap something around my arrow tip mm -hmm. um, and light it on fire and mm. hope that I get this fucker and set this fucker on fire? <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I'm not saying no, but I'm trying to figure out what you need to roll. I'm going to say this is going to be a search roll with uh, uh, two dice of fail, uh, two dice of difficulty. Okay. Um, how many speed uh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be two. two okay. Dice. Got it. Um, let's see. That was, that was Quinn, uh, Daniel's pretending to be dead. Shauna, what would you like to do? Sing. <laughs> I think I would try and move towards the hole in the ground. Okay. And assess the damage down there while, while still, like... I'm looking for an exit route. Okay. Um, maybe making an attempt to fire at this thing while I'm doing that, if that works. Um, so you can only choose one of your roles and what you want to do. Like mm -hmm. you can, you can like move or, uh, move or get an advantageous position. Um, but you can only do one of your skill roles. So if you want to search oh. for an exit, that's one role. But if you want to fire, that's another exit. So we're at the, we're at, but I have the high ground at this point because it's in a hole. So it, it, its face is at your face basically. So as it fell, it, it the debris of the the roof the floor you were on and Daniel um it has made it so that it is at your like it's honestly its face is probably about where your chest is height wise but it's in the hole so you can easily just like yeah so I take a step back towards the wall to get out of chest another chest wound range and I start firing at it um since Ohana means family and nobody is left behind, even though I didn't want to leave the fucking compound in the first place. So that's going to be just your normal, uh, your normal mm -hmm. role. And Mac, what would you like to do? Um, I don't know if you play um, twitchy sort of video games or anything else where you can do what you do, but only if you're, sitting the right way or otherwise you're locked into the muscle memory you usually have. Mac has been firing on their back. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to hop up into uh, their chair and brace against the coffee table and adopt the muscle memory of the way they tend to fire this gun mm -hmm. to try to actually hit it in the brain skull. Okay. All right, um, so because I'm they're saying, they've kind of hit it, but like they're not getting the shot that they need to get. All right, so I'm gonna say it's your normal attack, and then um, we'll we'll add one more blue dice for you to move. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do one other thing. Um, we're gonna do instead of a uh, of a of a difficulty dice, we're gonna make an easy dice. So we're, you're gonna roll the difficulty dice, but you're gonna subtract that from your number. Got it. Cool. Ooh, cool. 
Uh, all right, everyone, go ahead and roll. Don't be a mistake like October. So, real quick, to, to clarify the way the damage works for Outbreak, I've got five damage on my on my six damage threshold. Uh huh. Does that leave me with one? You have you have a. I'm sorry. One more time. You said I took five damage, and my damage threshold is six. Yes. So, oh yeah, exactly, Daniel. Um. You, oh yeah. You, uh, what is your damage threshold? Seven. So, uh, sadly. Uh, <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that that was uh, that was Shauna's real damage. Um, actually, uh, it was multiple. It was multiple dice rolls of damage. So you it, you can take you can get rid of one of the fives and one of the twos. Um for damage so you've technically only taken uh two points of damage so you can get rid of two nice. of them. uh okay. but your threshold is at zero so any point of damage you're done and as for uh, -huh. uh damage threshold how that works is you take that number and you subtract from that if it goes greater than that number then it bleeds into damage you can't take partial dice it has to be full dice numbers so if you have a threshold of four and you take five points of damage that whole five points goes into your damage pool it does not get absorbed it has to be the full number um which also leaves us uh that quinn you took dice damage i believe your threshold mm -hmm. so just subtract that number subtract that damage from your 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 injury and uh remove your threshold down got it cool thank you for uh reminding me about that uh i totally forgot um mac what did you roll um i almost rolled one degree and then i remembered that i had an easy die which took exactly the correct number to get me um to get me to 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 two degrees two degrees and what was your um what was your speed die at uh, my speed die is a five. All right. Uh, Shauna, what'd you get? Uh, speed die is a three, and I got two degrees of success. Two degrees of success. All right. That is not uh, for you to chew. <laughs> Quinn, what do you got? So I also got two degrees of success, and I rolled a four on the speed die. All right. These are some good numbers. Uh, Daniel... What do you got? Uh, I'm not sure if I had to roll a speed die, but in case I did roll, no, seven, we'll 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 put you at a, we'll put you at a zero since you're not moving; you're just laying there. So uh, okay. we'll put you at we'll, you'll go first. So what was your degrees of success or failure? I had three degrees of success. All right, um, I'm going to say you sufficiently <laughs> pretend to be dead. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you, uh, I think you're good. Um, that's so good, baby. You did so good, <laughs> Shauna. That's gonna be you up next. I'm just gonna go ahead and sink all of those successes into um, killing this thing. Okay, do it, like, end it. No more noise out of you. So combined, you have all done 46 points of damage to this. Your your average undead takes 12. Yeah, that's a D and D number of hit points. That's not a number. So that's 14 on the first amount of damage, because one of them was a six. And then plus nine, so 23 total. 23 total. That is uh uh the the right number of damage, which is 69 number of damage. Um, you know, uh, I would say it needed 70, uh, but nah, this was too perfect. 69 is the exact number of damage it needed. Nice. Uh, Shauna, you, you, you point the, the bow and it lodges right into its head. Uh, and you all see it just collapse onto Daniel. <laughs> um, I turn to Mac and I'm like, <sighs> well, let's hope that you're that fucking strong mm. when it comes down to it. If we don't find what you need, cool, Daniel. Hey, 
Hell, yeah, it's I... on top of my ribs. Uh, no, you need those. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll hop down the hole and uh, try my darndest to uh, <laughs> to help Daniel out to move this, move the debris and uh, whatever the fuck this thing was out of the way. Okay, roll me a uh, push pull. Okay. Um, uh, Daniel, you're gonna also roll a push pull. We're just gonna do successes. We're not gonna do initiative uh, at this point. Anyone that's helping, it's gonna be a push pull uh, roll for you. Uh, Mac, you're not gonna be able to get down there. Um, is there another way you would like to help out? Um, I'm prepping the med kit, honestly. I figure once they actually pull him out, that's when I get to be useful. So I'm getting I'm getting things out and laid out. Um, I'm like trying to create a a field uh, to work. Okay, could use some of that ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm profane all year. <laughs> anyway, I got the greatest success. Oh, same. Oh, Ooh. nice. Uh, Shauna, are you gonna uh, push pull and help or no? I think that I'm also. I, I'm not prepping the med kit. I'm pre prepping our exit. I'm looking to find out the most quiet way to leave the premises after this fucking uh, horrendously loud murder. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, gunshots make a lot of noise. Uh, they definitely echo. Um, you are able to pull Daniel up and out. The undead creature that was there um, is, it's weird because even though it is almost purely muscle, it feels as almost like it, it's just limp. It's just, it's, it's not even a heavy weight. You're able to just kind of push it over and get Daniel out, uh, out from underneath it. You, you two are both on the first floor though. Um, while Mac and uh, Shauna are on the second floor. You start to hear the patter on the door. What would the, the, the four of you like to do? On the second floor? Yeah, on the second floor. All right, Mac, how do you want to do this? We need to hole up by time long enough for... I mean, to at least figure out if we can move him. Here? I. Oh, I'm sorry. Do we want to grab him if he's got a pneumothorax? Listen, Shotgun Sally, you did not help keep them away. We need to figure out how to move away from this. There's too much noise. There are too... <sighs> They're here. How long do you need? Uh, I will know when I see him. I would love to give you accurate estimates, but this is like software engineering. It'll happen when it happens, and we hope to God there aren't delays from someone working with some damned JavaScript. And uh, they'll they'll rip open a sterile pack uh, as punctuation. So. Quinn, when you pull Daniel, oh, pull the things off of Daniel, you can see while well, Daniel is got some cuts on his nose and like probably bruising. Daniel, you can stand up by yourself once the debris is off of you. Okay, you're good. Cool. Love that. Right, because you've you've only taken what two points of damage now? Yeah. So so you you can stand up by yourself. Um, let's say one point of damage is uh there's definitely debris in you right you fell through the floor something is going to pierce you so you've mm -hmm. got you've you're able to stand but you have you notice that there is a what an open wound on your side okay cool Oof. okay uh i i think i might be able to get upstairs um i'm saying to quinn um uh, uh 
it, it'll hurt, but um, I, I think I've had worse. I mean, I don't know how you plan to get upstairs. I don't, do we also hear the... Yeah. Oh. So if we uh, hear it's on the second floor door, right? Yep. It is not on your floor. Okay. But you, you know that it doesn't matter because if they get up there, they're going to get to you down there. Right. Oh, you're right. Yeah, what? You were doing something with them before, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I threw a... Oh, you know what? I could probably do that again. Maybe we can throw something big into that pool at the center of the complex. Let's, um... I I think we should take a peek around this apartment. And I'll pick up Daniel's flashlight and hand it to him. Um, so you don't have to do any leaning over with your with your uh, side wound. Broken body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and just take a look around in like the kitchen. Um, and also, wait here one second. Let me do a quick check to make sure we're actually alone in here. I'm going to take a peek. All right, spot, spot, listen. I'm, I'm using the flashlight to kind of help, too. That's three degrees of failure. <laughs> there's so much debris and shit in here. It's possible that there's something underneath you, and, but you, you don't see anything. And honestly, whatever was in this room, it, you, would be, you would have to dig through everything to get to anything that was in this room. Um, it, it's just... Even though there's only a hole in the in the floor upstairs, it ripped away a large portion of the ceiling and like mm. that, that shitty old popcorn ceiling that that that's all fallen down. You know, you're like you're like, oh man, if I wasn't worried about the undead, I'd be worried about asbestos right now. Like that's that's it's kind of where you're yeah. at. Yeah. There's I you know what, there's too much dust and dirt and debris in here that yeah, I don't think it's worth looking for that. Why don't we use some of these like roof chunks and like throw them over there or something? <laughs> I don't know if it'll make enough noise, but all right. You know what? Why don't you? Mm, why don't you try that? And I'll try to do more glass bottles or something. So you're searching the bottom floor. Uh, Mac and Shauna, you can see down. You can see the the, the debris still floating in there. And you can see this beam of light moving back and forth as Daniel's starting to look. You can also see Daniel and Quinn standing, which is a good sign, right? That that Quinn is standing. but Or that, that uh, Daniel's standing. But you can Daniel's clearly grabbing his side. The, the smacking of, of the doors very similar to the end of last episode is where we're going to end this episode. <laughs> and I ran. <laughs> I ran we made it all the way, way across the street, y'all. We did a great fucking job. You're gonna die. I'm sorry. I'm like, this game is hard. I love this game. I'm kind of into it. Fuck! So, uh, yes, we are not back next week. We have a week off. I'm going to be a part of a wedding, so uh, we will not be back next week. So it's going to, it's two, it's two, so it's next week's off, and then we are back for the finale um, of, of this uh, wonderful and amazing group. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm the one that has caused the anxiety in which Janine has, or if it was just Janine's day, but <laughs> I know I didn't at least help. You made that noise. And like I said, I literally went and got a massage like two days ago. And I'm like, oh, every I'm tense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tense. Uh, well, uh, thank you all so very, very much for uh, joining us uh, for this uh, amazing and wonderful game. Uh, it's it's uh, Outbreak Undead 2nd Edition uh, by Hunters Entertainment. They currently have a Kickstarter out for uh, Kids on Bikes 2nd Edition. So if you want to play a simpler game, 
Um, significantly simpler game. Uh, you can go ahead and support them there. Uh, if you want to support Q Times, you can join our coffee. You can also purchase some dice uh, for yourself and use a code uh, Q Times. Or if you want to pick up something like dice or miniatures or battle mats or whatever, you can go to 1985 Games uh, and you can pick something up there. They actually just released a line of VHS retro themed dice, which are really awesome. If you use code QTIMES there as well, um, you will be supporting us. Uh, a little bit of the money in which you spend to buy some cool ass stuff comes to us. Um, and the more that that happens, we get to do some cool giveaways. Like we just did a giveaway of Hell and High Water, which I got to fight with someone in the comments about uh, us being gay and there being hell, which was really fucking funny. Um, but that's a completely different story. Uh, until next time, everyone, have a wonderful, spooky Halloween.